Today on Mitch in the Kitchen, we will be eating Jeff the Lobster. <laughs> Three, two. If you like lobsters, comment down below. So the first thing you'll want to do is bring salted water to a boil. I'm so excited for a lobster. He's a blue lobster. What? <laughs> oh. The big one gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> so once you your water's back to a boil, you're ready to put the lobsters in. These lobsters are about a pound and a quarter each, and it'll take about 12 to 15 minutes once the water comes back to a boil. So here we'll put it in. You always want to go head first, it gives them a fast death. You don't want to be cool to the animal. Bye Bobby. Bye Bobby. And then you put the cover on. Which one's this, Evie? Uh, that is, um, Jeff. This is Jeff? All right. Yeah. Bye, Jeff. Bye, you, Jeff. Jeff. I see his antenna. Yeah, we'll push him down more. Oh! That guy flipped. He yeah. got a live one. This he says lively. not, he says Hi. not today. Is this Robert or something? That's What's Bobby. It? Bobby, yeah. Bye, Bobby. Bobby. Ouch, splash. Bye, Bobby. Boiling water, okay. So now we'll watch for when the water comes back to a boil, and it's about 12 to 15 minutes for a pound and a quarter lobster. So the water's back to a boil now, it didn't take very long. So we'll start our timer at 15 minutes and the lobster will be ready. While the lobster was cooking, I started melting some butter for, and that I'll add some garlic powder to for garlic butter to dip the lobster into. But uh, the timer just went, so we're ready to uh, the plate one of these guys. So you'll want to use tongs because it's boiling water and they're hot. But uh, you're ready to eat. You'll let the water drip out as much as you can. There's always going to be some on the plate. But this guy's ready to go. We'll let him cool off, and then I'll show you how to how to enjoy eating one of them. So now that they're cool, like they're easy to touch, they're still a little warm. I'm gonna take off the elastic bands. This claw, the big claw, is the crusher. This one's the cutter. They're pretty sharp teeth. But he's dead, so he won't won't cut me up. Now to uh, start taking apart your lobster, the first thing you want to do: take your tail, you pull out a little bit, and then you just give it a twist. And that part, the tail comes off. We'll process that later. Then same thing the claws, right from the body, the whole claw comes off. Evie, are you doing it too? Why don't you move over to this spot? The first thing I like to eat are called the crawlers. There's a little bit of meat in each one of these and you just squish it between your teeth, starting at one of the knuckles, one of the joints there, and just start kind of chewing it back. Grab the body and now on the knuckle. Okay. And pull and twist. There you go. What? Just break Fence, you juice this all one? over me. You do this one. You gotta grab No, I don't want to do that one. Okay. I'm just gonna try and get this out. Do you want to do the tail out? Yeah. Oh. I have to get the paper towel. Like there you go. What are you gonna do? Like I would just wanted to straighten it out and see what it looked like. Okay. Whoa. Wait, is this our lobster, Amy? Yeah. yeah. He smells good. <laughs> wow. So you pull it up, bud. How do I? And you twist. Yikes. Ooh. And then the tail comes right off. I want to play with the tail. So when you get to the tail, it's got five fins at the back. Each of those fins has a little bit of meat. And just like the crawlers, you can just gnaw on it with your teeth and the meat will just come out the hole. 
But to get the main part of the tail, you open it up, put it between your hand, and just squeeze it to break the, the shell apart. And then you turn it upside down and crack the shell the reverse way. And then the whole lobster tail comes out. Now there's a separated part here and that'll just peel off. And this right here is your whole lobster tail that you would get at a restaurant if you ordered lobster tail with a steak. You get me. And on this part of the tail, there will be a, a small vein, depending on how long they've been in captivity for. It'll either be full of sand or else it'll be empty. It's just its a uh, way of getting rid of waste in its body. But you peel that off, there it goes. And you just get rid of that. Now a lot of people think that the tail is the best part of the lobster. For me, I love I love the claws. I think they taste as good, if not better. And to break it off, you break your claw. Now each of these joints in here also has a bunch of meat in there. These ones, there's little spikes and pointy things, so it's kind of hard to do, hard to get out. But you can use a little poker to try and. Uh, either push the meat out the other end. I like to use my pinky if it'll fit. <laughs> Need goggles, safety glasses or something, paper towel. I got it's paper. not working too well, so I'll get the maybe we'll do this on another take. <laughs> I need that. There we go. Got a little bit of the meat out. I'll just set that on my plate. This is now lobster is a uh, slow to eat like this, you gotta have patience. You're probably gonna cut yourself once or twice on the shell, but that's okay, it only stings when it's being touched. Yummy. Now we had melted some garlic butter before. I'm just gonna go ahead with my fork and dunk some in. This will be my first thing. This claw's mine because I love it. It might be my favorite food. Fresh lobster. It's so good. I am working on getting the meat out of the claw. So she used a nutcracker on it. She already did this part. She's, yeah. she's had lobster a few times before. She knows what she's doing. Yeah. And you crack and it and then you break the shell. Same with me. My favorite part of the body of um, the lobster is the claw. Now if you're lucky you can get the, the claw out as one solid piece, which I think I kind of did here. Yeah. A little, little mangled, but it's a good sized chunk of meat in that claw. Yeah. Okay. So that's about all you need to know for getting the meat out of a lobster. Um, there is lots of meat inside the body here but I'm gonna save showing that process for another video. So if you like what you saw here or you just like lobster, make sure you like and subscribe.